Well, this is your weekly wisdom out of the book of Proverbs. We're in chapter two now. And, and my main message today is this. If you want wisdom, you have to work for it. Wisdom doesn't just kind of fall in your lap from heaven. And we find this out in Proverbs chapter two, beginning in verse one. Listen to the active nature of finding wisdom, getting insight, learning discernment. Listen to the words and the action words about our part in acquiring wisdom. Proverbs chapter 2, beginning in verse 1. My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, indeed, if you call out for insight, cry aloud for understanding, if you look for it as for silver, search for it as for hidden treasure. You getting a theme here? A lot of searching, seeking, looking, calling. Then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. That's a language that talks about a, a deep reverence for God and understanding of what God wants for your life. For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Well, I suspect you noticed all the invitations to work after and seek after wisdom. Listen to a few of these thoughts. We're called in verse one to store it up, to, to collect wisdom. What, what do you collect? People collect you know, model cars, trains, uh, all kinds of stuff, shoes. What if, you collect, what if you became a collector of wisdom? I want to gain God's wisdom and, and just gather it in my heart, just kind of put, put you know, a piece of wisdom after a piece of wisdom after a piece of wisdom on the, kind of the mantle of my heart so that when the moment comes, that wisdom's there. We're told to turn our ear toward wisdom. What do you listen to? What's filling your mind regularly? What, when, when your earbuds are in or when you've got something kind of playing in the background, what is it? Are you collecting wisdom through what you're hearing or maybe the opposite of wisdom? So think about what you hear. It says, call out and cry out. What are you calling for? What are you striving for? What are you seeking after? Let it be wisdom. It says, look and seek for wisdom like you would for silver, like you would for hidden treasure. If someone told you in your backyard, somewhere in your backyard or somewhere near where you live, there's a treasure of incredible worth, you'd go hunting, you'd go looking because treasure. Well, it's saying wisdom is that treasure we should go looking for and striving to find. And then ultimately in verse 6, listen to these words again in verse 6. For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. So when you search, when you seek, when you listen, when you look for wisdom, look to God. There's all kinds of sources in our world that are saying, hey, I'll give you wisdom. And it leaves you empty. But God's wisdom guides and directs your life. And so here's my challenge to you today. Become a collector of wisdom. God's wisdom. Read his words, study the scriptures, seek his wisdom, and then collect it in your heart. And when the moment comes, you'll have it to rely on. Let's pray together. Lord God, help us to grow in wisdom. Help us to long for wisdom, to strive to find wisdom. And as we do, let us, let us lock it away in our hearts as our most prized treasure. And let that wisdom guide our relationships and our decisions and our lives, our morality all that we do and all that we are. Lord, make us more wise. We want to strive and seek after your wisdom this day and every day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, have a great day. God's blessings.